Hello to all traders and welcome back to another market review brought to you by Orbex. So in the last few hours we've learned that the UK and Japan have actually slipped into a technical recession after their GDP contracted back into negative territory. So what does this mean for Japan going forward? It slipped uh, from another high that it was getting back onto its feet and possibly avoiding a hard landing. And also the UK, it was kind of predictable that we were going to see possibly a recession in not only the UK, but possibly the Eurozone as well as we head into this year. Uh, with the America looking likely to avoid a recession, does this mean that the chaos will ensue for most of the other big nations as we uh, go into what is possibly quite a hectic schedule you know we had CPI data really coming in hotter than expected in America which give us the impetus that the market is not really ready yet for um, a move out of this uh, red territory that is, it's been in for quite a while. So we're just going to be looking at the uh, yen and the pound against the dollar. It's a couple of FX majors uh, in, for the next couple of minutes. So just on the daily chart, the what we were looking at on the uh, dollar yen was the fact that we're going into this V-shaped recovery at the moment. Since we broke 150, 150 is becoming to be like the next support area. It's just on the base now. Uh, if we look on the four hour chart, we we'll see it a little bit more clearly. I just wanted to point out this V-shaped recovery that we're just uh, witnessing at the moment. But on the four hour chart, we had this swing high. Obviously CPI data really boosted the dollar across the board uh, a couple, on uh, Tuesday. So this is what we're looking at now. So this big um, move onto the upside. We had this wave after wave possibly having a slight support now. So the 150 for me will possibly be a big catalyst if we're going to start moving uh, back down uh, before the CPI data towards the mid 146 or if we're going to possibly have a bounce and another move higher. So just nicely uh, setting its way at the moment into a uh, possible uh, downward bias but as I said it's all about the bounce on the 150 psychological area that we're going to possibly be looking at as well so just keep an eye out for that if you are trading uh, dollar yen it, it could be uh, quite a big uh, market mover at the moment so we're just waiting to see what the next move is on there on the pound on the other hand not really looking likely that it's going to bounce back at the moment we saw quite uh, on the daily chart quite a, a choppy consolidation uh, until we saw this break lower uh, for the CPI data and then another move down uh, for um, you know the, the, the fact that we're in a recession as well at the moment. So RSI data not really uh, picking up. On the four hour charts, uh, we like to get straight onto the intraday to be honest, uh, to see where the main opportunities are. So we just remove the drawings, it's a bit easier to see. Uh, so. We're just looking likely now that price action will continue possibly to keep on moving a little bit lower. However, we did see the last swing low and a possible bounce at this particular area just at the lower end of 125. So this is another kind of major support that we're looking at. If we do break there, then we could be looking at these potential lows that we've seen um, just before the new year, the back end uh, of the fourth quarter of 2023. So just keep an eye out for the next range of data. Obviously, the Fed has uh, quite a lot of say in the movement of the dollar, but obviously with the UK falling into a technical recession, it's not really looking likely that we could see a pickup anytime soon. However, this for me will be a quite a psychological area uh, to see if we can see a bounce and then a possible move higher. So let me know what you think. Again, this video will be posted on our YouTube and Telegram channels. So feel free to like, subscribe, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So have a great training day ahead and we'll speak again next time. Bye for now.